Hello everyone to another slimy video. Two years back, I did a tier video based on my favorite slime sh in Slime Rancher. Two years later, I thought, you know what, I won't go back because a lot of my opinions have changed over the years. Unfortunately, my husband won't be with me doing this list because he, he's very busy. For now, you gotta deal with me and my own thoughts about these cute and cuddly, cuddly slimes. For now, I'm more mostly going to focus on the vanilla slimes. In part 2, I will, of course, will focus on the secret style packs. But for now, let's start with the also oh classic and adorable big slime. Which area of the tier list should this cutie of patootie should belong to? Now, the pink slime hasn't always been great or terrible. It's just been there. However, uh, just because it's just so cute and cuddly, it doesn't cause any harm to you. It's just, it's just so happy to see you all the time, right? Hey, right? Nothing wrong with that. So, I think I'll go give it uh, in the middle, perhaps? Because, like I said previously, it's not too high, not too low of when it comes to... It affects your your, your gameplay. Um, I would say, like, right here, I'll, I'll be very generous on the B list. Because, like I said, it's it's the most, probably one of the most... Uh, I was going to say generous. The most giddy, giddy, giddy slimes in the game. And next, we got the cute, oh, so adorable Mew Mew, aka the Tappy. Straight up, I'm gonna put it in B list. Start, sorry. Is it B? No, A? Or B? Like, I'm putting it pretty high because it's a slime that is basically a Mew Mew. A Mew Mew, which just bounces on you, and it's also very happy to see you. Another thing about the taffy is that its behaviors are quite unique. It grabs stuff that normally shouldn't, like veggies, for example, and it just meows. I think I'll go put it in the A list. It just you can't go wrong with anything that is shaped like a like a mew mew. It, it, it just they're so cuddly. Moving on is the phosphor. Okay, uh, the phosphor it has it really has a very unique design from the rest. It flies, it's basically a firefly, comes out at night, and daylight it would disappear, so, um, and I, and I like putting them in my grotto sometimes. They're just there as decoration, so I'm, I'm gonna be put it right next to the pink, sal pink slime. Just because, because I, I think it belongs there. <laughs> hey, if you guys like these slimes and you think think you um, have a better tier list and send it to me. I'll be more than happy to look at it because everyone's different. So moving on, here's the honey slime. Oh, the honey slime. It's similar to the pink slime, but it's honey form. And it's poor flower, poor flower, poor value is pretty good for early game. Also, it does help you get the drone faster, so I think I'm gonna put an A list. Yeah, because it's just so sweet, it's a honey shape. Oh, I did that. It's just cute, it's cute. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> I've got the wrong one. I'm trying to get it. Put a slime. Sorry, S tier, it's got like puddles are just so cute in the game. It just how they blush makes it even more adorable. Even though its plural value is pretty dang good. I think it was uh, if, I, if I have my memory correct, is 99 plorts? Or is, I think that's a max amount. Overall, it's it's a slime that everyone loves. It's actually considered considered the most favorite pool. Pool, favorite slime in the entire game. Like that, that, that's uh, coming from the actual uh, com com communication man manager herself stated that. Okay, hundred slime. S tier because I, I will admit I am biased for hunters. I love hunters. They're awesome. They go invisible. 
they jump on you and they're worth heck of a lot, especially in er early game. Uh, come on, come on. A, a Mew Mew? That is very valuable. It has a cool slime too, I like, I like its striking design. Rock slime. I don't really have much speed when it comes to rock slime, but it does cause some damage so if you go near them. Uh, I'm gonna put them kind of on the D list. I'm sorry. If people like the rock slime and I'm hurting your feelings, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I do think because the rock slime does have more, a little bit of negativity, negatives than positives. But yeah. Okay, the ratty boy. Again, the same thing with the red, but it causes radiation poisoning. Luckily, the radiation poisoning only takes effect when you are around its radius. So, it's not as bad as the rock slime, nor as good. I think because of its high plural value, I think I'm gonna put it on the C category. I do like rad rats, they're, they're pretty rad, heck yeah. Okay, up next is the boom. Again, it's like the rock plus the rat slime combined together to create this explosive ca uh, character. Uh, they're not bad. As long as you have water, you could you could actually reduce the, its uh, prevent it from from exploding. There you go. So I'm going to put right next to to the rock slime under D. I don't mind rock, uh, rock slides. I don't mind boom slides. It is the amount of damage they give you, especially when, especially when you're surrounded by them. It feels like you're 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 getting exploded by a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Up next is the crystal slime. Okay, crystal slime. Nothing bad with them. They're just, they're probably the worst version of the rock slime because they have a tendency to shoot crystals out of the ground. I never had much problems with them when corralling uh, them. That's kind of tricky because of their spikes, it causes serious damage. However, due to their high plur value, I think I'll put them right next to the D section. Sorry for people who like the crystal slime, but I do admit it is a very beautiful slime to look at. I, I love its texture. Okay, the quantum. Same thing with the pink slime. It's not something too great nor too low of a slime. The only thing negative about this slime is if you don't feed it, it will duplicate itself. I do recommend putting these slimes in a very isolated area. Before I deleted it, so I deleted it, oh my god. Before my game was corrupted, I had a lot of these quantum slimes in Victor's uh, workshop privately away from my main slimes. <laughs> because of that, they have saved me a lot of trouble. So they're not bad on a slime as long as you take, keep an eye on them every once in a while. So I'm gonna put them under C. They're not bad slimes at all. It is, they're, they're kind of tricky if you have a tendency, tendency to forget things or neglect your duties. Okay, Tangle Slimes. The concept of them is pretty dang cool. However, their finds tend to have a tendency to grab things outside your corral. Like, let's say you have a plort, specifically the pink plort, they will eat that up. They, they will grab it and eat it up, turning them into a pink tangled. Something that you may not want sometimes. So, because of that reason, I, um, it, it kind of reduces its... The, the slime's interest. However, because of its adorable concept, it, oh, you can't go wrong with a flower themed slime. Oh, I just realized a negative to them is if, you, if, you, if they're agitated, they will produce some sort of allergenic pollen that affects your slimes, <laughs> they affects the surrounding slimes. So, yeah, um. I like the concept of the Tango Slime, they're really cute, so I think I'll put them under the C category. They're, cu they're cute, it just, there's a little bit more negatives, but their plural value is really high. Okay, okay, because of plural value, I'll bump it up to the P B tier. Yeah, that, that's pretty fair, right? Okay, the Dervish. I have an interesting history with the Dervish. 
in my previous tier list two years ago, I think I put the Jervish very below, uh, very uh, below the F list because I had did have a tendency to the the bad. I'm sorry. The tangled, the tangled, the Jervish has a tendency to cause mayhem in your range if you don't take care of them. However, I uh, recently put them in a much more isolated area, like the, uh, what, what's her expansion called? Uh, Machi's expansion area. So, that, that devil reduced the troublesome. Great thing about this line is, is it's very high plot value. I think it's equal and not higher to the pink tangled. Also, its concept is pretty, pretty neat. It, it, it creates little tornadoes. I, um, uh, that's really tricky. I'm gonna put it right next to the, the Tangled because, yeah, I, I'm starting to have a soft, soft spot with the Tangled. Its concept is really, really neat, so I, I'll, I'll give him that, the little guy. Okay, the Mosaic Slime. I always like this slime. Just look at, at his little face. It just. Mm, it's it's like it, it's ready for a photo booth. Heck yeah. Um, the only negative side with this slime is it produces fire flares that causes damage. But as long as you have, you have water, you should be okay. Absolutely. So uh, this is very hard because I do like the mosaic slime. Enough, too bad, too great. Uh, I think I'm gonna put next to the tank, tangled, the dervish slime, just because its plot value is pretty high. The fire slime, the pole opposite to the pole slime. I'm gonna put it straight to the eight, eight tier because it's just so darn cute and cuddly. Minus the cuddly part, it's made of pure fire. <laughs> just make sure you put it in a ashtray or else it will disappear. Or if you have water, don't squirt the fire slime with, with it. They will disappear. Okay, now we're in the more legendary list. The lucky slime is probably a, the, the the more unique, or I should say, very interesting. Yeah, kitty cat within the feline line. Hmm. It does give you money if you give it chicken. It does appear every once in a while. It doesn't really cause any sort of harm, so it's not too high, too low of a tier list. Hmm. It's a Mew Mew. I'm gonna put Mew Mew's pretty dang high <laughs> up in the list. I just look at its face. I like the concept too. It's based on the. Oh, what they're called? It's a, I think it's a Japanese sort of good luck charm. I'll put on the screen uh, what I'm referring to because I actually forgot the name of that charm. I'm not. It is the ghost slime. The ghost slime does give you a lot of plorts. If you do mash, you shoot it down. <laughs> no, it does not give you plorts. I'm, wait, it does give you plorts. Yes, it does give you plorts. Sorry, my mind is still on the lucky slime. If you sh if you manage to shoot it, it gives you a plort. And in turn, gives you 300 new bugs. That, that's really good. Oh, because it's high value. I'm going to put it under the... Uh, B tier. It's just very. It's a very valuable slime to to find. Dang, I'm running out of room for the B tier. Am I? <laughs> I'm sorry. Twinkle, twinkle, little slime. I don't know where to put you in this line. Hey, that rhymes. Okay. Uh, because the slime only appears during December time, unless you could, unless you manage to cheat cheat your PC. Uh. A god tier. It's it's a very very unique slime. That's it. The, just its concept is pretty cool. If you if you get the modded version from the next website, you can actually capture the slime. It's it's super cool. It's extremely rare, but once you do, it's so satisfying to 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 include it in your ranch. Now we're going on the expansion slimes. The quick silver. I'm kind of skipping because I had to click, I didn't click on this slime. The quick silver. Oh man, this is, this is a pretty cool slime. I like this concept. It's basically it's basically a mixture of the puzzle slime and quicks uh, and okay, huh, sorry, a mix between the puzzle slime and silver from Sonda Head Hedgehog minus the time traveling. 
Ah, oh, God, that's that's really hard. I, I like this design. Like it does, it does show the viewer that this this slime is speed. Speed. It it it, it, it is. It is. It's game. I'm sorry. I cannot speak today. Oh gosh, it's so hard. Unfortunately, you cannot put this slime in your ranch. I think in most of these expansions, you can't put them in in your ranch, except for the paper slime. But that's its a uh, larger variant. Ah, uh, that's hard. I go part of the B tier. Yeah, B tier. Okay, the paper slime. I I have got I had a soft soft spot soft spot for this. For this slime because it's lore. It kind of explores more about the world of Slime Rancher. At one point in the world, there was a Jurassic period. That's something that's very interesting and definitely took reference from the Jurassic Park movies. As for the slime itself, you can't exactly get the pure version to your ranch, just the darker variant. Unless you have mods, that's a whole different story. But for now, I am mostly focused on the uh, m the can version of these slimes. Um, like like they're fine slimes. They're not the greatest thing in the world unless they bite you, and that's a whole different story. I'm going to put under the D section because like they're just slimes with little horns sticking out of its mouth. But I do like its lore. It, it's lore right? it does help give more flesh into the world of Slime Rancher a little bit. Maybe Slime Rancher too, they'll give more, more scenes, so more information about these slimes. Who knows if the slime is in the se sequel. Okay, we got the glitch slime. Honestly, I always find the glitch slime just is similar to the pink slime, but in digital form. It's got a mix of a pink slime meets uh G, G mod uh that's kind of tricky it doesn't really do much you can't really keep it you can only just locate it and deposit it for resources so i'm gonna put it under the e section sorry guys i do like victor's expansion it just the slime kind of seems like a more of a copycat of the pink slime but and digital form. I get. Uh, I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm the bad guy. I'm trying to think logically as well, emotionally about these lines. It's just, in truth, the glitch is probably my least favorite out, out the list. Sorry. For end this video, there's one more slime. I want to put this on the list, which is the tar. I know you guys are thinking, like, why the tar? It's not technically, not really a slime. Yeah, but I do have a soft spot, soft spot for the tar. Ever since I lost Charlie from my previous file being corrupted, I just kind of like this slime. I know that I'm loving this slime because of a silly mod, but I don't know, having a pet tar was pretty dang cool. Yes, it does bite you every once in a while, but that's how it, it shows its love as well as uh, other means of, of affection, you know? So because Charlie and its design, like a rape wish, tar slime, it's, it does pop out from the world. Definitely pop it once the mystic starts uh, rip, ripping up, right? Start changing, I'm sorry. Uh, which part can I, you know, I'll put a tier. Ooh, or D tier. It does eat your slimes, obviously. You know, I'm gonna put it on the C tier. I think my previous tier list, I did put it pretty down, down below. I don't remember. I didn't go back to watch it because I was worried that that might kind of affect my my current tier list in a way. I think for now, I think C seems comfortable. It has more negatives than pros, but thanks to a fan-made mod, the Tar Rancher, it gave me a whole new perspective on on Tars and all. Uh, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> it looks like I have more uh, bees than the rest. 
I, I did I for sure for sure my list has changed since my previous video I don't know if that's good or bad like I said I haven't watched the previous video but so far I'm actually very happy of the list so far of course I did put the hunter slime in the top tier <laughs> oh gosh yeah yeah like I said I I will fully admit I am biased for the hunter slime absolutely puddle Sorry, straight up has to be god tier. You know what? I'm gonna put Puddle in the freaking god tier. That's beyond cuteness right there. Uh, yeah, that's my list. Oh, uh, if you guys are wondering, will I do a Slime Rider 2 tier? Yes, I will once Slime Rider 2 is announced. Right now, we only have about, what, five slimes been confirmed in the game? That's not really enough for a tier list, nor not enough time to really judge them in game. It seems only fair that I make a list, tier list for Slime Rider 2 when I get more information about those slimes. A lot of these slimes currently in the first game, I spend more time with them, understand the behavior, the value. So it seems fair that I do the same for Slime Rider 2. Yeah, uh, in the next video, I will do secret styles. <laughs> Obviously, it will change than my previous video. I wish my husband could join me, but hey, if you guys w want want me to bring him along in the second video, let me know down below. Because mostly the secret style is mostly judged by its appearance than value or anything else. So yeah, guys, that's my tier list. What do you think? Send me your tier list if you like. Join me on Discord. Like always, stay wiggly.